you can't, you can't make yourself believe. Well, I'll just believe the word of God. You can't, you can't do it. You can't make your heart believe. The only thing you can do and the only thing that can change the heart of man is the word of God. You've got to put the word of God in there. You've got to belong to a church that teaches faith. You can't be going to churches that teach, well, if it be God's will, get out of those churches. Can't do it. Your life is too precious. You can't feed on that stuff. Well, God allows all these bad things to happen. He's in charge. God's in charge. You ever heard that? This is, this is, there's a line here i got to be careful because I get all kinds of emails and everything else. <laughs> he gave me the kingdom. And Jesus said he gave me the keys, the authority to operate the kingdom. And he gave me the earth realm. And listen, Mark 11, 22, 23, and 24 says, If a man believes in his heart and he, spe- he, sp- he speaks with his mouth and he believes what he says, he shall have what he says. I didn't say that. Jesus did. Because it's a law. So understand this. Your answer to, to your whole life is the government of God, the kingdom. As a citizen, you have legal rights. You have access to this kingdom through faith. The earth realm has to have faith, being fully persuaded for heaven to legally have jurisdiction. Its laws of, king, of heaven, heaven supersede the earth realm, which has been corrupted. You release the kingdom authority through speaking and acting on what it says, being fully persuaded. You carry the kingdom of God's authority as Jesus has given you the keys in Matthew 16, 19. All right, so how does this kingdom then affect our finances? You got all that? All right, so how does being in the kingdom affect our finances? This scripture in Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22 is your answer. It says, the blessing of the Lord brings wealth. And he adds no sorrow with it. Now, understanding the scripture is vital for you to have an understanding of how finances flow in the earth realm. And yes, it means what it says. The blessing of the Lord brings wealth, and he adds no hardship or sorrow with it. So we, we've got to know what that means. We gotta, again, we have to, we're spiritual scientists. We've got to define our terms. What does that mean? Because I definitely need some finances. All right? Well, we have to go back to the beginning. We have to go back to the beginning with Adam and Eve. In uh, Genesis chapter 3, verse number 17, one of our keynote scriptures we use in teaching the earth earth realm. So you can go there right now. Genesis chapter 3, verse 17, Adam has now kicked God out of the earth. I say he kicked him out because he had authority. He had the dominion. He essentially kicked God out. He chose to align himself with Satan and be fully persuaded of what Satan says instead of what God said. He essentially kicked God out. God comes here in in Genesis chapter 3, verse 17. He says, now cursed is the ground, the earth, because of you. Notice, God did not curse the earth. God doesn't send people to hell either. God did not curse the earth. Who did? Adam did. Cursed means basically to separate the blessing of God, God's life, his his light from the earth realm. Adam essentially cut God's jurisdiction off. So God says, okay, essentially you've kicked me out. (laughs) You're on your own now, bud. It's basically what he says when he says now through painful toil, through your own sweat of your brow, you'll have to eat of the earth your entire life. You've, You've tied my hands can't help you right now. Now, there's a whole, whole story there about the tithe, which we could teach another day, but essentially, Adam kicked him out, okay? So Adam became a survivalist, meaning that it was now up to him to find his provision. In the garden, you'd have to agree, he didn't have to worry about provision. He didn't even know what worry was. He had never even had a fearful thought, but now he's on his own. So now he's a survivalist. Everything he has, he will have to get himself, And so because of that, it changes his entire alignment of how he thinks. It's all about protecting myself, you know, taking care of myself, my provision. And we've lived under that curse that whole time. So that curse is still here. And the Bible says, now thistles and thorns will grow in the earth, et cetera, et cetera. And that, that, that curse is still here. Thorns and thistles still grow in a pasture field. When you stop cultivating it or you stop adding energy to it or you do something, it'll, 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 Grow with thistles and thorns. 
So the earth curse system is a system of surviving. All decisions have changed. It's now, how do I find money, and if I have money, how do I protect it? And you and I have grown up in this system. If I told you to get out of debt, if I said, okay, listen, guys, you're going to have to get out of debt. Your immediate conscious thought is to grit your teeth and to begin to run with painful toil and sweat harder. I know I'll, I'll, I'll get five jobs. I'll get ten jobs. That is how you were trained. Right? That is how you were trained. I'll move to Cal- They're paying better in California. I'll move to California. Is that where you're supposed to be? You see, something else happened in this whole equation. That is, Adam lost his identity. He lost his purpose. He was supposed to take care of God's stuff. He had a relationship with God. He was supposed to be taking care of the earth realm for God. Now he's abandoned that. His total perception of purpose is what? Finding money. Hoarding money. Because the only way out of the rat race is to have more than enough. Right? That's why everyone wants to play the lottery. Money with no labor attached. Stealing. Money with no labor attached. Everyone is tired of running. Everyone is tired of waking up in the morning and thinking, I have to go to work. They're tired of that. It's robbed us of our identity. It's robbed us of our integrity. It's robbed us of our, our royalty. It's, it's robbed us of our purpose. It's, it's lessened our life to a, an image of, you know, take care of me. We wait for Friday night. We wait for a vacation. We wait for a retirement to finally get to do something we want to do. Am I right? Absolutely. Because of that, most of us work to stop. I'm serious. Most of us work so that we can stop working. When I get enough money, I can stop. I work this week so I can stop. Paid all my bills so I can stop. And you know I'm telling the truth. Most of us work with the, mo- the, the objective to stop. Now, if I would come in here and say, if I crawled on the floor with my tattered clothes, and Drenda and I are dressed in rags, but we're so happy, you know, we've done it, guys. We're here. This is the, the provision conference. So excited to talk to you today. Man, we have slaved 23 hours a day for the last five years, and we've paid our house off. We want you to know it is possible. You know what you guys would do? Not you guys, but people would do. Why? Because someone escaped. It's possible because there was labor attached to it. They think it's now possible, and they're all applauding. But in Father's house, you have to think different because you can't run fast enough in that system. You have to learn how to receive in Father's house as a son or a daughter and change how you think, right? So we've all learned the wrong way. I always say that provision is provision. Having provision is provision. If you don't have any provision, you ain't going to have a vision. (laughs) I mean, you know, that's how it is. Provision is provision. One of the things that changed with Drenda and I, we got out of debt. Ideas, man. Poof, 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 poof. It's like, wow. Why? Because we found out things were possible. And it was fun. Understand this, until you fix the money thing, you will never discover your destiny. Never. It's not possible because you'll run your entire life. Making all your decisions based around money, location, hoarding, whatever you have to do to play it safe and build the wall around your life until you fix the money thing, which means you have more than enough and know how to keep it in the right way. Hi, I'm Gary Cassie, and you will never fulfill your destiny until you fix your money thing. Visit GaryCassie.com and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for more amazing weekly videos on fixing your money thing. And thanks for watching.